Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video I'll share a few tips from compositing to Solaris and working with volumes and attributes. I believe you'll get away with uh, something that you didn't know before, hopefully. So the first one is, is on how to get these nice thumbnails on your layout asset gallery. As you can see, they look just like the, the rendered image. And the way you do that, you set up your component builder. And then in the component outputs, you go to thumbnail and you choose render. In this case, I am using Karma XPU and camera and scene. I'm choosing the second input and I input a light, a camera and the render settings. In this case, I needed to increase the refraction limit so I can see well the glass. So that's basically it and now you have these nice thumbnails that you can lay out as you can see that I'm doing in here. So now I have this geometry, this chocolate and I want to transfer an attribute while doing a VDB conversion. So do, as you can see I have the attribute in here called mask is for the interior interior of the chocolate and then i'm doing a, a conversion to vdb so i can smooth out the shape and i still have the attribute as you can see and the way you do that is on your vdb from polygons you pass surface uh, surface attribute in this case is called point dot mask and i give it a name then I do my VD, VDB operations and use uh, an attribute from volume connecting the second input to the volume and I just uh, paste the, the attribute and give it a name. Keep in mind if you import this into Solaris it will be a tree float so you, if you want to use it for shading you will need to separate them into com into different components to use as a mask. So I created this lemon slice from a uh, boolean, as you can see in here. Uh, I just have this geometry and boolean out uh, sphere, and I get something like this. And then I'm blasting one of them. And creating an attribute with the group created from the boolean, the groups. And now I want to quad remesh it, but you know we lose the attributes. So what we can do is an attribute transfer. But if I do it with default settings, with uh, without the subdivision, I get some weird results. So what we can do is, before the attribute transfer, subdivide your geometry. The more you subdivide, or at least at, at, until some point, you'll get a uh, way better result. Then we can just attribute blur and we get the correct attribute. Then we can split it and do the UVs and we will end up with this more clean geometry. So now a very quick tip on how to do vignetting in COPS. Basically you create, a, let me start from scratch, you create a ramp, you'll get something like this then you have you need to set the the same resolution as your input image so what we can do is to to steal from the input image by connecting the input now we have the correct resolution and then you go to concentric and in this case i want to invert it so white and black and you can play with the interpolation in this case i chose ease out 
and then you can just that's what I have in here then you can just multiply over your render and you get the vignetting effect you can also play with the color of your ramp so you, you get uh, more or less darkening so yeah that's basically it so I created this poof with uh, Vellum with uh, some collisions into the initial geometry and right here I am mixing between the Vellum result which is a bit all over the place and I'm using the, the initial geometry before the Vellum simulation and mixing it mixing the position with the, the vellum geometry and the way i'm doing that is just by import uh, in a point of op connect the vellum geometry and the input geometry and i also have an attribute in here called mask let's see that i'm creating with just an attribute create and then blurring it by sampling the points of the spheres that I have on the object then I'm creating the mask and blurring it and then in the point vop let me just disable this in the point vop I am mixing between the, the first input position and the second input position and as a mix factor I'm using that mask as you can see and I'm also playing with the fall off so I can get these effects, these wrinkles but at, at the same time flattening the, the vellum results as you can see is a bit too much so this way I can flatten these areas and keep the, the wrinkles so yeah guys that's basically it feel free to grab the files from my patreon and thank you everyone that joined so far see you next time